Now, in this lesson, I kind of tossed in at the last minute because I wanted to be able to show you how you can generate really interesting composites by blending two images together. And this is something I get a lot of questions on. A lot of people want to know, hey, how can I put together a simple composite? You know, I don't want to make it too complicated. So I thought I'd throw this in and just show you how easy it is. And we're going to be using some layer masks to achieve this. And you know I, I was messing with some layer masks in the earlier lessons. But I just want to show you how can you use them to make a really interesting layout. So here I have an image of this uh, cello here, and I've got a sheet of music here as well. And I want to blend these two together to make a really compelling layout. Well, I'm going to take this image here, and I'm just going to drag it up to the title bar of this image here, and let's just drop that right in there. So now it's a new layer right inside this image. Well, I'm going to hold down my Option key, and I'm going to go ahead and click the layer mask icon. And what it's going to do is hide that image by filling the layer mask with black, as you can see right here. Now, we're going to use the gradient tool, and I haven't used the gradient tool much in this, uh, in this course, but if you just select the gradient tool and you have a number of options right up in here, you have a number of preset gradients in here that you can choose from. And the one I use the most commonly is the second one, and this is the foreground to transparent gradient. So right now my foreground color is set to white, and that's what it's using right now is foreground to transparent. So I'm going to use that to reveal. Now we know if we add white to a layer mask, it's going to reveal whatever is on that layer mask, or, or, or whatever's on that layer, rather. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Here you can choose the various types of gradients you want to use. You can use a standard radial, a, or a standard linear gradient, a radial gradient, and you've got other specialized gradients here as well. And I'm just going to use the regular linear gradient. And I'm just going to go over here to my image. I'm just going to click and drag right from the outside area here and just drag inside my document and then release. And you'll notice what's happening. If I option click right on the layer mask, it'll actually show me what I just did. I just drew this gradient that's going from white to black and with some gray area in between. And now that gray area is going to show some transparency and that's what we're looking at. If I option click back on there, we're seeing some transparency through there. We're seeing this area at 100% because we filled that area with white. And then as, it, as the gradient travels on, we get into the black area, and now we can see that guitar right through there. So I'm going to go undo that. I'm actually going to reapply that gradient in a little bit different direction there. And let's just go right there like that. So a really quick and easy way of blending those images. So let's say I wanted to add maybe a piece of text in here. We'll just grab my text tool. And I'm just going to go right in here to the very top. I'm just going to click to set a text layer. And we'll just type the words music. And let's go ahead and highlight that text. And I'm going to go ahead and make the size a little bigger. I'm just going to use the scrubby slider here and make that really, really big. And we'll just position that in there. I'm going to double click and highlight it again. I'm going to change the font. So let's go in here. I'm going to scroll down and get a really scripted font here. Let's do this uh, Zapfino here. And again, we need to make that size a little bit smaller. And we'll just kind of add that right in there. And I want to change the color, of course. So let's go ahead and double click and highlight that and click the color icon and make it white. And there we've got some interesting text right on there. Well, I can make it a little bit more interesting text if I go over here into the blend modes and just choose overlay on that. And you can see it's blending in with that background in a very interesting way, giving me an interesting result. So in just a few steps, we've taken two photos and a simple text layer and created a really interesting layout. And the beauty is it's all still on its own individual layers. I can turn them all off and get a very interesting result altogether. If I wanted to, I can go back in here and reapply the gradient. Let me go ahead and fill this with black. I'm going to go to Shift Delete. Or you can simply go into the Edit menu and go down here to Fill. And we're going to fill it with black again. And let's try another gradient. Let's come in from the other side and see what kind of result we get. I can undo that and come in from the side. We can come in from the top, get a very interesting effect there. You have a lot of possibilities, and this is just a very easy way of compositing your images together to achieve a very interesting effect. Now, if I go into the toolbar and flip around the colors, and now my gradient is set from black to transparent, I can go ahead and mask more of the area back in just with the gradient there. So I can come in from this bottom corner and mask that effect in a little bit better. Again, still on its own layer, looking like a really, really interesting layout. So basic compositing techniques. Go in there and practice with the layer masking. It's a very non-destructive way because we've done nothing. It appears as though we have deleted parts of that music sheet when, in fact, we have not. If I hold down my Shift key and click right on that layer mask, it will temporarily disable it. You see a little red X in there. 
And now we can see that the music sheet is all there. It's all intact, and we can go back and modify it and change it any way we want to. But the mask allows me to blend these images together for a much more interesting layout. So that is basic compositing. Try it yourself and have fun with it.